Hi there, this is Renee Rubalcava and welcome to Odonet. Uh, today I want to talk about signing up for your free ArcGIS for Developers account. So to get your account, you just need to go to developers.arcgis.com and when you do that, you're going to get to this page here that's going to have a link to get your free account. Before we get to that though, let's just take a quick look at what's on this page. So the developer page is basically a uh, portal out to uh, pages like the JavaScript API, the runtime SDKs, uh, configurable apps like uh, Web App Builder, as well as uh, Python uh, information. So working with ArcPy. And it's got a couple of uh, posts in here that kind of talk about you know, building apps, extending the platform, um, what, the, what you get with your developer account, so the content and services. Uh, there's links to a couple of samples in here as well as links to the marketplace, the startup program, and the partner program. It also is going to link out to the uh, Esri's GitHub pages and the developer box. So let's go ahead and click on get a free account. All right, so you're going to get to this sign up page. You just have to fill in with your name and your email address, and you're going to get a small description on the side here, letting you know that you get 50 credits per month you can start using with your developer account. And with that 50 credits, you can do things like uh, geocoding, uh, routing, getting directions, working with geo enrichment, which essentially is be able to use um, compiled demographic data that Esri has uh, put together that you can run analysis on. So you could do something like create a five minute drive time analysis around a location and then use geo enrichment to pull in demographic data for that particular uh, five minute drive time area and you can now have enriched your data with uh, the demographic information that they have. And you also get access to things like the uh, traffic map. So if you wanna have a traffic map in your application, you can do that and that uh, will use up some of your credits as well. And if you want some information on that, you can uh, look at this particular page here that's gonna describe out what the developer plans are. So you can get more credits if you want for a little bit more a month if you, didn't, if you need something beyond uh, the free account. And it's gonna link out to what the actual per user plans cost as well. So what can you do with those 50 credits? So you can do stuff like uh, tile generation, which isn't really recommended. Uh, the recommended way is to generate the tiles in desktop and then publish those tiles to ArcGIS Online, and when you do that, credits are only used for storage. So up to 41 gigabytes, is, uh, well, 50 credits would get, give you for tile storage. And then feature services, again, just for storage. Um, things like the routing, geocoding, and geo enrichment we talked about before. Those are the only other things, really, that you're um, going to get build any credits for that are going to use up your credits that you have. But 50 credits a month is pretty much essentially a lot of credits to be able to do stuff for developer accounts. So there really should be too much concern about running out of credits there. So you go ahead and sign up for your account and you'll get an email um, just to confirm your account. And once you do that, you can go ahead and sign in. And I'll show you that now. All right, so once you've signed in, you're gonna be taken directly to your applications page. You, you, for you right now, you won't have any applications built. Um, these are current applications that have already got built. So applications are essentially a way for you to be able to authenticate users for your um, ser your services that you create um, and give them access to that data. So let's look at one here real quick. Let's look at this uh, bar analysis for directions. So as you can see here, I am going to bl black out my client secret as well as my token. I'll explain why in a second, but um, you are going to get a client ID for your application and then a client secret. And the client secret, like it says here, treat it like a password because this is used for token generation. If someone has your uh, client secret and the client ID, which is probably what you're going to have for public use, and everyone will be able to see your client ID. But if they also have the client secret, they can start generating tokens and they, will, um, they can essentially eat up all your credits. So treat it like a password. Do not share this. Um, you can hide the client secret in a uh, proxy config. Um, you can have it um, used in a backend service to generate tokens for you in some way, but do not share this client secret with anyone. Um, you also can generate tokens here for testing purposes. They're short-lived tokens, so um, they only last uh, like a, a day, something like that, so you can generate tokens this way. 
and you have other information here about generating tokens. And then it tells you here how you can go ahead and access those tokens. So there's samples in Python, Node, Ruby, Go, and Curl. That'll let you uh, show you how you can use those particular languages to generate your tokens. So again, uh, the authentication tab uh, just covers that uh, same information. Uh, there's a licensing tab that lets you know about how you can license your deployments if you're using the SDKs. Um, you can check the usage for an application. And then there's more settings in here where you can update the description and the tags. So let's look at the actual layers. So if you click on this layers button over here, this is going to be where you can start creating feature layers. So I've already got quite a few feature layers in here, but if you want to create a new feature layer, you can just give it a name, give it a title in here. So I'll call that one another layer, give it a tag, and then you just give it a description, sample layer, and pick out the geometry. So if you want points, lines, or polygons, I'll just pick polygons for my sample. Um, and then you can start adding the fields here. So you need at least one field to be able to publish this service. And that field can be a string, integer, float, or date. And you can make that required or not and add that field. And this is where you can start working out your, the schema for your data, your layer. So description, um, just leave a string. That will not have it required. And you can set the layer properties here. So if you want to enable uh, offline use for the SDKs or something like Collector, that way you can take this data offline, work with it, and then sync it back, you can check this box here. You can allow or disallow attachments on the layer. So again, you can just control that, control that with the checks box here. And then just click on create layer, generate your layer. And once you've generated your layer, you're going to get a page similar to this. And I, this is a, a layer I've already got built. And this page looks a lot like the ArcGIS Online item page. So you have an overview, which you can just give a summary, give a description. Um, I can share this layer from here, uh, I don't know if I want it public or private. Open in ArcGIS Online, open the map viewer, uh, view the service directly. Um, you can look at the data tab so I can look at what data is currently in this layer. Um, look at a, a data on the map. And if I want to edit what this data looks like uh, on a map, I can go ahead and click on this edit visualization uh, link here. And this will open up in the map viewer and it'll let me start modifying the symbology. And again, you can check the usage in here um, and some settings for the layer, very basic stuff if you want to update any of that. So that's essentially it. So once you've done that, uh, you now have access to ArcGIS Align as well. So if you went to ArcGISAlign.com, you can sign up, sign in with your developer account and you'll have a full ArcGIS Align experience. So let me show you that. Okay, so when you have your developer account and you sign into ArcGIS Align, you're basically going to have a URL that looks something like um, your username dot and this just happens to be my home page in ArcGIS Online that I was able to uh, edit and update. And you can customize this a few different ways. And there's um, links in the um, uh, organization account that you update your page. And you can go to My Content and any layers that you've created or applications you create in the developer site are going to be available for you to use in uh, your content pages. All right, so uh, the only things you don't that are not in the developer site that you do have in the content page is um, things like the uh, web maps. So any web maps you create aren't in the developer site, but they are in the content site. And you can just start using everything in ArcGIS Online as you normally would with your 50 free credits a month to do as you need. And that's it. That's how you sign up for a developer account. That's how you create your applications, your layers, set up your authentication, and start using that um, data sets in ArcGIS Online. Thank you.